Ah, what the fuck video? Yeah, a little bit late. So, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings in YouTube, such whatnot. Mostly, kind of. Okay. So, as predicted, I am kind of sullen. <laughs> yeah, so, I put things off. Um, actually, the weather got a little bit better, so I had a lot of shit I had to get done. Uh, cutting grass, tree limbs, all kinds of little bullshit here and there. And, um, so, anyway, consume some time. Um, busy work. Um, I was also working out some server things and, you know, these different hosting companies. And it really is bizarre how different the rules are. <laughs> you know, to get something to work. Uh, so anyway, learning curve kind of thing. So I had to do some of that. and um, But, you know, it can't hurt, mostly. <sighs> Lost in Jewsbury Doughboy Land. Yeah, these people are just so, you know, well, that's clever. Lost in Jewsbury, Doughboy Land. Uh, sorry, Ronald. Ronald. This is very useless. Anyway, yeah, people are just really stupid. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, it's all. Uh, you know, they sort of make it and then they fall off the wagon, so to speak. They're, ah, they're, they're being reasonable. And then the very next comment, oh, wait a minute. Not so reasonable. It really is tedious keeping up with all the stuff. Only found video number one. <laughs> well, say that two is before one because two is the newer video, you see. So if you look at between comment and video one, there's video two. Just saying. Um, anyway, boring video. You surely can do better. You're going to comment on a comment, pick a smarter person. That was lame. Oh, the smooth terrorist. Oh, please. Please. <laughs> you don't like the videos, don't watch them, retard. What state does this guy live in? Oh, you know what? You're going to critique a video? I'm going to critique that comment. How could you possibly give a fucking rat's ass? And then this other guy, being like, I saw, I saw him in Union Square, New York City on Saturday, but he ignored me. Well, of course he ignored you, because he wouldn't even know who you were, you idiot. But it wasn't me, you idiot. <laughs> so I would have ignored you if it was me, but I'm just saying. <sighs> I would have too, JK, maybe. Yes, maybe, possibly. I think he's ignorable, anyway. But, yeah, you're just like, what is this crap? This is just, this is pretty useless crap, isn't it? Yes, come on. I mean, you know, people. Gotta comment better than this. Well, anyway, I gotta make a video, don't I? Oh, sorry. Just has just been kind of dismal comment-wise lately, that's all. Wish me a happy Mother's Day. Hmm. Yes. Uh, oh, this guy's talking Indonesian on my damn video. Oh, God, I don't think so. I mean, I know the title's Indonesia Sucks, but it's still an American video, fucker. <sighs> my country have a lot of traitors like these people down here in comment section. They are Indonesian, but they hate Indonesia. Yes, well, I'm American, and I hate America, so that's the way it goes, jackass. I didn't delete that one, but anyway. I'm just so used to deleting them. I read them, delete them, just fuck it. 
They're stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Just, there's just no point. Uh, so anyway. News-wise, I don't think there's much going on. The unexpected benefit. Oh, this has got to be one of these TED Talks. It's got to be just too interesting, right? The unexpected benefit of celebrating failure. Ah, Bitcoin and the new economy. Yeah, well, whatever. I, I mean, look, electronic currency is the way to go, but it's, we don't need a Bitcoin. We need a bit dollar. We just need a place to put our funds where there's nobody playing any games. We just put the money there. And you electronically can move it wherever you want to. And uh, that's it. No expense, no investment. You want to invest it, invest it. You can do anything you want, but I'm just saying it's just a record of this is your cash. <laughs> and you can put it somewhere else. You can do stuff with it, but I, I don't know. It seems pretty simple. So, anyway, some little person wrote some little songs and such. And, uh, I mean, it's very, very interesting what people do. Um, I just wanted to see it. It didn't have any views, you know. It kind of surprises me. You know, seven views, you know. <laughs> so, it's just, you know. Um, Sarah. Uh, Abel didn't live in the middle of the Bible, believe me. Abel didn't live in the Well, whatever. Um, but, you know, she doesn't play any instrument or anything. She just sings this little song. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, oh, woo. I like that. Anyway, um, you know, entertain me. And so anyway, I, you know, just very courageous kind of people. Uh, yay. So anyway, so go to the all link below, and then you can find it. It's this little pink thing here. New song I wrote. And then there's another new song I haven't listened to yet. Um, but anyway. Um... But very good. I woot. Um, I woot. I woot. Yes. I'm making an official word of mine now. I woot. I woot. I woot. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, um, so apparently there was some stupid meetup that Tommy went to with the drunken peasants. They all had big fun and blah, 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 blah. I have to go see video of that, the big fun. So, I, there really isn't much going on, right? And, um, you know, where the fuck is, um, uh, D and, uh, James? Um, they, yeah, they haven't done anything. I mean, maybe they're doing something interesting. Maybe they're writing a musical. Maybe they're going to pantomime it or something. A pantomime musical or something. Something really, you know, maybe they're doing something big and fantastic. Or, uh, not. You know, maybe they're just struggling through the bleak horror. It is rather bleak. Uh, you know, it's rough. Life is... So, you know, I mean, see, I could just complain about little things, you know. I mean, but they're not little. They're they're, they're big in in some ways, and it's just you know they're the kind of thing that just eats at you, you know. So so the cats did the chipmunk thing the other day. You know, one cat caught a chipmunk and he brought it over to the other cat to look what I found. Uh, it's a little squiggly thing. Uh, I'm pretty good eating, I think. Um. Anyway, but you know, so they just you know they're just taking turns, you know, whacking it. You know, and it's struggling. It's still got a little life left in it. It's, you know, every time it moves, they give it another whack. And you're just like, you know, this is only going on like 697 million times a day. It's probably more than that. <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, oh my God. It's just horrible. I mean, what's going on, you know, the whole life cycle of life thing, circle of life, bullshit. Um, you know, just horrible. Just awful. 
and then you get a little taste of it in your real life, you know, in, in the sense that, you know, something personal. You know, my mother's getting kind of old, and she's getting a little fucked in the head, and, you know, so I call for Mother's Day, and, you know, it's okay, but, you know, she just isn't all there. It's just, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult. Because the part that's there is kind of worried, <laughs> you know, and pa pa panicky about everything. And, you know, any dream or nightmare she has, she thinks is real, and it's just, you know, it's just not, um, it's um, bad that uh, we just don't fix this thing so people don't end up hanging around too long. And I know it's really hard to get out at just the right time so and that's the problem people want to they want to wait till the very last second they you know, they want to get every little bit out of it and, and, and you know that's always the it's risky to wait uh, because then it starts to fall apart but, you know what I'm saying? it's like some kind of it's probably a good analogy but it's like some kind of disintegrating thing you know and it's like yeah there's this perfect moment where it's just before it all falls apart or something, you know, and it's just this perfect thing, but it's like with baking or anything else. Maybe there's a perfect, but sometimes you don't want to go for the perfect because it's too close to the failure. Um, so, yeah, so I guess that'll be the theme of the video. It's just this realization of, oh, fuck the horror. So anyway, um, you know, me and old fan are working on this and that, you know, as we have been for the last couple of years. And um, so there's this idea. <laughs> We've both kind of been whatever, floating around the head. You know, the next kind of thing might be to do some uh, dramatization, uh, drama of some kind, illustrating life being on trial. Uh, you know, to find some kind of story, some narrative through which to uh, do the kind of the Nuremberg trial, except with life on trial, you know, the defense attorney and maybe some kind of thing and just some sort of, you know, but yeah, it's finding the right kind of vehicle for that, you know, because you don't want to get too sci-fi, maybe, maybe you do want to get too sci you know, <clears throat> I mean, have aliens do it or something or, you know, you can do so many things, so many ways you could create this trial moment um and but the weird thing was you know just thinking about it before i, was, <laughs> I remembered there was like a lost in space episode uh where dr smith was on trial oh well well the robinson family was you know and, and it you know it turns out that dr smith made horrible messes everywhere he went you know and killed zillions of aliens and did all kinds of terrible things with his his insensitivity, <laughs> you know, everybody was getting blamed for Dr. Smith, and, you know, something in the end was like, um, you know, he's retarded, or he's insane, or something, you know, and, and so, in some sense, the Robinson family was forgiven, because they're taking care of the retard, or something, I don't know, it was something, yeah, there was some sort of catch like that, that they got off the hook, because it's all Dr. Smith's fault. Um, so, anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean the you know the, the the idea of having to defend what we're part of and uh, and and you know the just the the, the the just the harsh brutality of it and you know. I would say rationally, there's just no way to say no, 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 stop it immediately. You know, it's it's just it's a train wreck. It's a catastrophe, and um, but at minimum, you should be able to get people to acknowledge that. Okay, 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 I want to get mine, but yeah, let's not make more of it. You know, that, that's a that's an at minimum kind of statement that people should be able to at least. Um, acknowledge that okay yes 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 that's the reasonable thing to do is not make don't you know no <laughs> you know 
don't keep writing in the book once I'm dead. You can stop writing. They should at least be able to say that. This is a bad story that's being written. Very bad story. All for, you know, just this most trivial of gratifications. Uh, you know, it's becoming more and more obvious. Um, to me, anyway. It's just, um, it's all just this stupid head game. Um, I, this, this guy. Jerking off is the only thing I have left. Well, that's the only thing there ever was, anyway. In a sense. It's, you know, even when you're having sex with somebody, you're kind of just jerking off. And you're just using them. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not that different. Like a gun to the head kind of thing. Um, little, little Asian chicks with guns to their head. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Anyway, um, but yeah, isn't that all, the, you know, that's hot, right? I mean, that's our... The thing we're living for is just so freaking crude, <laughs> you know, in so many ways. It's just so, you know, crude um, and mechanical and, uh, you know, little hormones go, D -d 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 -d, and they just, oh, I'm full of compulsion. I'm compelled. I'm compelled. Compelled, I'm compelled. Yeah. You know. And then you get liberated of it, and then you're like, Phew. like I said, I, I mean, I just have these moments now where you just, whoa, what the fuck was I thinking? But you just wait a little while, and oh, okay, now it sort of makes sense again. Because you start building up that need thing again. Yeah. You have a moment of realization that you've done all you can do, and you've done the best you can, and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden you're feeling kind of satisfied with yourself and, uh, you know, not very needy of any kind of um, acknowledgement or, or boost from other people. And then, yeah, ten minutes later, though, yeah, you're feeling vulnerable again and you're feeling, you know, insecure and you're feeling, oh, I'm a failure. And I'm blah, blah, blah. And, you know, then you're just back in the game again. And it's just this stupid psychology. And so, you know, when I think of just how stupid the mechanism of our gratification is, and you're thinking of that, the price being paid is that little chipmunk, you know, being tortured to death over a half hour period. And you're saying, I can't, there's no justification. I can't. This stupid little herky jerky emotional game I'm playing can't possibly be worth that torture. Just can't. So anyway, yeah, that's enough dismal. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, the horror. It just really is just such a swamp, just such a an ugly, dirty you know, lake of piss, and, you know, people are just looking at it when the sun's, oh, look at the sun setting in the lake of piss, and, you know, it's a lake of piss, yeah, it's okay, it has its moments, but don't drink the piss, <sighs> anyway, so I could go on and on and on, couldn't I? Uh, I did watch some of the Illusions Exist crap, but it's just really tedious. Skies are in the room. It just is, it just drills holes right in your military head. Is and they're all talking over each other, and it's just so irritating. And I don't like anyone in this room. So it just is kind of rough. Um, uh, but somebody did mention that, um, you know, Trump had, you know, I have to look it up, had said something about uh, defaulting on our debt. And, you know, it's just such a, you know, all these complex subjects are being reduced to s this simpleton mush. And it's just so stupid in so many ways. Like, you know, as, as I explained in the other video, you know, we're, we basically FDIC insured some of the junkiest stock ever produced. 
and you're just saying, well, that's just the opposite of what we should be doing, right? We should be rewarding people with FDIC insurance for making these safe investments, not these outrageous investments. So at the very time when we're FDIC insuring the junkiest crap on earth, we have presidential candidates talking about screwing people who have taken the most cautious <laughs> okay, investment strategy possible. You know, and bought bonds. Punishing people for pretty much saving money and not risking it and not demanding profit, you know, huge profit. Inflation coverage. In, a defense against inflation is pretty much what a bond is. And not much more. And punishing those people. Now, there aren't people that own bonds, technically. Uh, you know, they're, they're owned in funds, and so the funds would be bought by, you know, Norwegian coal miners or whatever. So something, you know, there's a bunch of... It's just very strange who owns the stock market now and who's invested in everything, and it's just so... But, I mean, the whole idea of the default is just going to be... It isn't going to fix any problem. Um just because you're going to it's not it's not a 1%er kind of holding the 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 richest 1% are the problem and you're not going to get to them by defaulting on bonds you'll get to some of them but you just won't get to them in any kind of mass way and the other weird thing is is though is that if you announce this thing then people will just dispose of the bonds <laughs> okay at a loss that meaning They'll pay people a premium to buy their bonds, and we won't. The government won't be able to issue anything, and and so certainly you're not going to ever be able to borrow any money, and that means you're, you know, the rich are going to have to pay their taxes in real time. They can't do this bullshit where they say, "We'll defer our taxes to the future," and that's basically what deficit spending is. It's tax deferment. So I, Donald Trump, is it smart enough to know that? But but it's just, uh, you know, on its face, it's just kind of a silly thing to say. Just because it's the, it's the, it's the least of the evil that's gone on are people buying U.S. bonds. The evil is the grotesque profiteering and the exploitation and all that kind of shit. That's the evil. And defaulting on the bonds doesn't fix the evil. See, Trump's the evil. And he knows, I don't own any of that shit, right? Because what do I, I own crap like casinos. Uh, you know, I own foreign dressmakers. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Uh, but, you know, from a presidential candidate, it's just such a reckless thing to do because at minimum what it does is it kind of announces to somebody who might want to buy our bonds maybe it's not a good idea and maybe I shouldn't buy the bond unless they pay me more interest so in a sense you're basically just going to make it more expensive for the US government to uh, borrow money and how can that help? <laughs> yeah, we're already fucked and we got a, a presidential candidate basically just saying well, I'm going to fuck us some more because now if we have to borrow money, we'll have to pay three or four more percent interest to do it. That seems pretty stupid. Well, it seems ludicrous that this is could happen in what is supposed to be the greatest superpower in the world. Could have somebody run for president would do something that stupid. Fucked hearted. So fucking dumb. And to do it as a Republican, which is even funnier. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's the kind of thing you might think Bernie Sanders would be stupid enough to say. <sighs> Fuck. Um, but like I say, if you're going to default, you don't let anybody know about it ahead of time. That's, that's, that's really not the way to do it. Anyway, because somehow they'll figure out how to shove this shit in your pocket. 
you know, if they have time to shove it in somebody's pocket, they're going to shove it in somebody's pocket. And you'll find out all of a sudden that, oh, my CD is full of U.S. savings bonds and now I'm ruined. But that's this whole, this whole thing is just so irritating because that's what I hate about what Piro says. You know, like we should bail out the people who have all these bad mortgages, the people with the credit card debt, the people with the student loan. Why? I mean, you know, why is why should people who knew their limitations, who didn't borrow money, foot the bill for the people who borrowed money? I mean, it's like this this whole game that's always been played where, you know, the the people who used the credit card in the past, well, it's still true. It costs more to the producer. The producer loses money when you use a credit card. So, but he charges the people who pay in cash the same amount. This is too much trouble to make the difference. But it was always a substantial difference. You were talking about between 5 and 7%. It's a huge amount of money. So you're basically taxing the person who knows their limitations and doesn't borrow money. You're making him pay the interest for the people who are. What, what the fuck is that? Crap. And then this whole idea that we're going to bail out or we're going to forgive the debt. Well, isn't that just, again, you're punishing the people who were fucking wrong. And you're slaughtering, I mean, just totally fucking gutting the person who did the right thing. I, I just don't get that. I mean, certainly, you know, and there's some self-interest involved because, yes, I'm not the kind of person that would borrow money. I mean, I'm not the kind of person that would ever think it was a good idea to have a credit card and I would put stuff on the credit card and I'd pay, you know, 15% interest or something, or even 7 or even 5 or even 2 That just isn't logical to me for a lot of reasons. It's kind of obnoxious. I just this whole debt thing is really a. I, I personally just find it uh, um, ugly and, and and viscerally wrong um, to live beyond your means. To presume that somehow tomorrow will be better and somehow I'll be more capable of paying and all that kind of... I mean, just this this optimism. That's what debt is. Debt is... You have to be optimistic to take on debt. And I just don't see any reason for optimism. But anyway... You just don't risk making a mess unless you know you got a broom and a dustpan. All right, now it's enough of a video. Okay, yeah, it looks like the camera's still working. All right, so, yeah. These people are just such idiots, so. Tarts. Anyway, so anyway, until uh, the next time. And such. Yeah, so I, I, I'll have my website will start being also, <laughs> you know, there'll be two, two sources of content, GoDaddy and dream host and uh, it'd be an interesting test you know to see how the two perform <coughs> in providing their half of the website so that will be interesting so anyway uh, it's an interesting challenge um, but it's kind of a good backup -y thing you know just because if one fails the other can take over it's tricky you know being able to do that though on the client side to be able to detect that oh, hey, my website isn't working <laughs> well if it's not working you can't detect it it's not working it's the catch uh, anyway easily so uh, I think that's enough partially well there are things you can do I, you know you just have to think it through Oh yeah, I can set up that trap, and that trap will tell me if the file doesn't exist and the server's down. And blah, 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 that kind of thing. But anyway, um, so there was other physics stuff too. But 
Yeah, I, 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 I make some more physics videos. Got to do some more writing. Got to do. Got, I got to do the stuff. I got to do. So and I just don't want to do it. I just want to get to somebody. I want to get to a qualified physicist and let's just argue it to the dirt. And in the end, I'll get him to concede. This is the right answer. It answers all the questions. It doesn't have all this woo in it. It's just too fucking obvious. This explains where the energy comes from. Fuck's sake. Anyway. This turns out I'm right. I mean, I'm sorry I ended up being the smartest person in the universe, but it just turned out that way. Sorry if that offends you. That's the way it worked out. <sighs> yes. You know, Einstein was smart all but I mean, you know, when you really think about it, it really wasn't... The, the whole answer of bending time and space was just so stupid. I mean, just as a, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, the nothing bends and that makes the something fall down and do... No, it doesn't make any sense. Fuck. But yeah, you can you can go back to all this stuff with that. It's just so interesting in the sense that it's um, just the little mistakes they make. And so there's those uh, which, which is Maxwell's equations. And the funny thing about Maxwell was it's like it's another one of these examples of getting it exactly backwards. I mean, he realized how fast the like magnetism moved or happened, <clears throat> and then he said, "Hey." The, light's moving at the same speed and so because light was moving the same speed as magnetism you know he turned light into an electromagnetic phenomenon when it's the other way around the magnetism is a photonic phenomenon it's photons little invisible ones um, but you know the whole idea of making the light electromagnetic is just so you can you can you can intuitively figure out how it just doesn't make any sense that they can't have a perpendicular where an electron can and it's you have to move matter to create fields photons don't make a field they are the field the direction they're going in is they're making the field when they're going in that direction but they're not doing it any other way I was just so wrong. So, so I mean, just saying, it's one of those things where they just they just make these little critical mistakes of the wrong assumption. And uh, yeah, electrons make photons, and photons do not make anything electromagnetic. They do not produce. They are the field energy. Damn. Anyway, so enough. So, till the next time and such, and so forth and whatnot. I don't think there's anything else important. I'll conclude that there's not. It suits me to do so. So, till next time and such. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I was just looking. <laughs> yes, I, I was just seeing it. I was waiting for the image to change. It's not changing. And so I was just like, how come it's taking so long to change? But I'm standing in one position, so why would it change? That's the trick. It probably did change, and I just didn't notice because I didn't move enough. See, I just moved up. <coughs> now I moved. So that's a big difference. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, till next time and such and so forth and whatnot. <sighs> yeah, well, I, mean, I should be done. But see, yeah, there's been no useful comments on here at all. I mean, it's just been kind of, I mean, wacky lunatics and 
insulting people and then some idiot talking about and then them should go trans with gray tags why <laughs> I just don't I don't even know where that comes from why like I said maybe you you have a fascination with that I just I can tell you I just I was never I just never had any desire to do the girl thing there's just no aspect of being a girl that I find all that charming except for the fuckability of women. I mean, these girls are cute. Oh. Damn. I miss the cute part. The little red, white, and blue skirts, you know, and it's all legs. I'm kind of a leg man. Um, but yeah, go for that. See, they're charming legs. Anyway. I think Crosby looks short in this movie. <laughs> yeah, he just looks short. It's funny. I thought he was tall. He looks short. <sighs> oh, yeah, Numbly Num did ask what movies I've seen over a hundred times. And, it, yeah, there really is a long list. I think it's a hundred. I didn't say a thousand, did I? Well, I guess there are movies I've seen a thousand times. Twelve Angry Men, uh, Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet, <laughs> um, uh, certainly Aliens, <coughs> uh, you know, the second Aliens, uh, Terminator 2, uh, you know, a good Terminator, uh, Good, Bad, and the Ugly, a few dollars more, uh, I mean, there's just so many great movies. So anyway, so this one I don't. I mean, technically, because it's been running on this thing, I could say I've watched it hundreds of times. <laughs> you know, but it's not one of my holiday in. You know, it's maybe a 50-time movie. Um, but yeah, I have watched a lot of old movies a lot of times, just because they, they, they're they just easy. They have a kind of familiarness, and so when you're feeling kind of, eh, you know, if I'm feeling, eh, I put 12 Angry Men on, and it just kind of, settles me into my life narrative it just because i guess i have so many places in my life where i saw the movie and it just kind of blends them all together so in in net i kind of have a kind of a, a positive it has a relaxing effect on me for that reason it's just very familiar something like that um Anyway, so this video was really just rambled and it could go on forever, couldn't it? But I won't. I won't go, I won't go to forever. Kind of a silly concept, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's enough. I don't know. Is there anything else? Anybody else have anything? No, oh, I gotta plug that back in. Adapter was getting kind of warm, so I plugged it to see how whether it was the adapter. Yes, it's cooled down quite a bit. I don't know whether it's the adapter that's fucked or whether the the tablet's pulling a little too much. Anyway, um, for some reason, some sort of leakage. Charge leakage. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's enough. Until next time. Sorry it's late. Blah, 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 blah. Do better next time. Blah, 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 blah. Such and so forth.